Hey, I'm Ken, and this video is part 5 of my Introduction to FlowLab series. Anyone can sign up for free at flowlab.io and follow along in their web browser. In this video, we'll expand our tiny first level and add a scrolling camera so the player can explore it. First, we'll add a few more objects to use as building blocks to assemble the level. Every object we create ends up in the object library, which can be accessed by clicking the library button in the bottom toolbar. Just select the item you wish to add and then click add to level. I'm going to speed up the video here since I'll just be repeating the same steps over and over as I add additional objects. At this point, the level is much larger, but now it's far too big to fit on the screen. We'll add a camera behavior so that the view will follow our player as she moves through the game world. As before, we click on the player object and select Edit to access the behavior editor. The camera can be found in the component section, and we click to add it. The auto scroll checkboxes tell the camera that we want it to follow the player automatically, so leave those checked. The left, right, top, and bottom values define a rectangle that restrict how far in each direction the camera is allowed to travel. As we adjust the values, we can see the boundary rectangle update in the background to indicate the areas that will be visible. For now, we only need to adjust the right boundary to be able to see the entire level. Now we just need to test the updates and make adjustments as needed. In the next video, we'll give our player some health and add some dangerous obstacles to make things more challenging for our player. Thanks for watching.